Here's a quick video of the P10C barrel after 80 rounds of Remington UMC on uh, Tuesday, the 14th of April. And the Remington UMC, uh, sure enough, is uh, what's leaving the copper, but uh, also laid down uh, some carbon in the grooves just after 80 rounds. And this barrel kind of looks like it did when I, when I first started to clean it. So the uh, flopped the gun over 180 degrees and went down the other side of the barrel. The, uh, as you can tell, there's uh, carbon streaks, some powder residue. I haven't run a patch or anything through this barrel. I just put it down on the table and ran the bore scope through it no cleaning no nothing so this is really how it looks after after 80 rounds and uh, this is chamber here and then running it back out to the muzzle end and then I took the mirror off and decided to run the bore scope back down the barrel both directions and uh, give you another little view now some of the little streaks like the ones on the lower part there are where I dragged the barrel through the powder residue the first couple of passes so uh, don't worry about that but uh, you can see the P10C uh, still pretty pretty dirty uh, but this is really just how it looks after 80 rounds. Next, I went to the P09 barrel. This one, of course, shot perfectly, so whatever's in here is not hurting anything. And, uh, again, lots of, uh, well, this barrel's got a little pitting in the, especially at the muzzle end. And, uh, but it's about as about as dirty in the grooves and lands as the uh, as the other barrel. And see, there's a little carbon down here at the chamber end. And uh, you can see, there's a tiny bit of pitting at the chamber end. And then you can see the copper, a couple of chunks there. But uh, <clears throat> I think most of what you see here is. Is uh, you know a little bit of copper and then some carbon that's gotten smeared by the next bullet that goes down the bore. So I'm thinking it's just a little residue from the carbon getting smeared and then a little copper from the bullets. And uh, go back down through the bore just like I did on the P10. The P09 looks uh, similar. The, uh, you can see the couple of streaks there where I dragged the mirror down through the bore on the f other passes with the bore scope. And then get down to the chamber in. Of course, you can see the firing pin. And uh, just different than the P10C. Then come back out. And... See, little, little chunks of stuff and some carbon and a little copper discoloration.